I remember I was in work and I got a phone call after the second scan. And I remember just screaming out loud that it was going to be a baby boy and I was um, over the moon. Sol decided to come into the world in an awkward position. You've got about two hours before the limb starts to die. He didn't stand a chance to keep his left hand. When he came home from the hospital, his left arm was no longer moving at all. That wasn't good enough for my son, so I decided to do something about it myself. I'd seen lots and lots of stuff about kids rejecting prosthetics because it had been left yeah. too late, and that just spurred me on to try and do something myself. Yeah, working. Okay. Started making prototypes with off-the-shelf components, washers and a screwdriver handle, gluing bits of plastic and tubes together. And I realised actually the cheapest way of doing all of this is 3D printing. I had to find a way of generating a socket that will completely hug around the stump of the arm. Somebody mentioned that the Xbox Connect has scanning function. Kate would hold his arm steady and in about five minutes I'd have a scan. Once I'd got the socket fitting and the arm was the right size, I took the blue arm into Sol's room and he slid it onto his stump and he actually said the words, it fits properly. And he just wanted to go to school and show it off to all his friends. And that's when I knew I'd done it right. The same process is now being tested with 20 families all around the world. And I think this is the shape of the future. There has never been a better time to become an engineer. If you have an idea and you have the motivation to do it, then you can do it. You can change the world.